Here we're going to be demonstrating a NSX distributed firewall policy being offloaded to an NVIDIA Bluefield DPU within a Lenovo server. First thing we need to do is create the policy within NSX. To do that, we need to access the security and distributed firewall feature within NSX. When we get into this area, we are gonna see the default rules that come with any NSX installation. From there, we need to add our own policy. So we will create a policy and we'll call it demo policy. After we create a policy, we'll need to add our own rule. For this demonstration, we will create a DNS rule. And the objective of this rule will be to block and allow DNS traffic. Therefore, we will have to go into the services section and filter on DNS. And here we will select all types of DNS traffic. We will apply this rule, and next we will see that that rule is going to be applied to our distributed firewall that's being offloaded to our NVIDIA Bluefield. Next we will select to reject any packets that hit on that rule. And then finally we will go into our settings and we will turn on logging and enable it. And we will create a label for the rule that we just created so we can see it being applied and we'll call it DNS demo. Now, after we have applied all these changes, we have unpublished changes with an NSX that need to be pushed out to the firewall. So we will do that, publish those changes, and we will wait as we see the progress update. Now that we've published the changes, let's go to our command line interface and check our systems. First, our ESXi host that we're running is a Lenovo server, a ThinkSystem SR650. Now, if we look at the DPU that's inside of that server, we will see that it is an NVIDIA Bluefield 2 DPU. This combination of hardware allows us to offload the distributed firewall from the host to the DPU. So the next thing we will do is go back to our command line interface and check the distributed firewall rules that are existing on both systems. As you can see, the host itself has no rules present, whereas the, the DPU has the DNS demonstration rule, DNS demo rules that we created with an NSX on an earlier step, thus showing that the rules are being applied on the blue field and not on the host itself. Next, we will tail the distributed firewall raw logs on both systems. On our receiver VM, which is Virtual Machine 2 in the upper right, we are going to TCP dump for DNS traffic. And on the upper left, on our sender VM, we're going to do a simple NS lookup to generate DNS traffic. As you can see, our ESXi host is getting no traffic, whereas our distributed firewall rule on our DPU is inspecting the traffic and rejecting it. Hence, our distributed firewall is being offloaded to the DPU. Next, we will go back into NSX, and we will, instead of rejecting DNS traffic, we will allow it. Now, again, we have to republish the changes that we made back out to our distributed firewall, and we will have to wait for those publish, that publish to go through. And finally, we will go back to our command line interface and we will run the same exercise we did earlier where we tail the logs and we run a TCP dump for DNS traffic and our NS lookup on our sender. Now as we do this this last time we will notice that the receiving VM VM2 is now receiving DNS traffic and the DPU is now logging that the traffic is being allowed through and those rules are now passing. Again, on the host, we see that no rules are being applied. So here today, we've shown that we can create distributed firewall rules within NSX, and we can have those loaded or offloaded to a distributed virtual switch running on our NVIDIA Bluefield 2 within our Lenovo servers.